We have finally arrived. Bay Lake Tower. Bell Service has already took in our, uh, took in this, this kind of word. I got a magic bag. I like this orange. It looks nice. Okay. Not took in, taken. I'm sorry. Bell Service has already taken our belongings because we are going to go straight to the parks. I believe we're eating at Tuto. No, not Tuto. Via Napoli. I think we may just take the bus to there. Wow, it's been so long I've been here. Oh, it feels great, doesn't it? Anyways, um, here's our stop. Okay. Apparently, I forgot something. They don't offer buses to have caught in contemporary resort. They offer the monorail system, which is still amazing. Disney and we. Reef restaurant has recently changed their menu just yesterday and the date now is July 23rd so this is a big surprise I haven't heard of a single video of anyone else doing a video like this so I'm gonna be trying um, of course starting with appetizers entrees then moving on to desserts I won't be trying any alcoholic beverages anyways I'm gonna start here with the appetizers I think I'm gonna go with and see how the crispy road island calamari is and for entrees hmm well i can definitely see the four new dishes they've added to the menu still thinking over i want to not try something common because honestly salmon i know it doesn't taste like salmon wherever you go but it's just i really didn't think the salmon was the best considering that we are in a marine restaurant entree wise lobster mac and cheese is still the same I uh, can't go wrong with that, especially for lunch, it's really good. I'm gonna go ahead and get the drink started. I'll give you one minute, I'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you. You know, it's amazing how I can't see it because this big column's in the way. Go down there and look at it. You didn't want me to go and record something else. The salmon wasn't good as most other salmons I've tried in the Walt Disney World Resort. And frankly, I find that just a weedy bit disappointing due to the fact that, well, it's called Coral Reef, it's a seafood diner. But I'm going to give this a new try because I can literally smell the food and it smells really good. I'm going to try that lobster macaroni and cheese and how well it goes. But first, let's get started with some appetizers and see how it compares to other restaurants. At the moment, service seems wonderful. Uh, the time we ordered was about 10 minutes ago. What, Gadi, did we order did we order our entrees 10 minutes ago? Like 7. 7, okay. Which was 12, 23. Kevin, hold it this way so you can see the... I know, it's just, it's really dark. It is really dark, but it's... So what about this one? No, wait, what about this one? Still dark. <laughs> I don't want to. Give it back, Nemo. Give it back. Mm. <laughs> Nemo, we can edit out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at the shark. Ooh, guys, look, there's a shark. Wait, it's gonna pass by again. It doesn't taste like a regular store bought food at all. It tastes really good. Like, really twice as good as a regular Hawaiian bread you would buy at a local market. And right now, it was just food, it was just bread that they just gave us. It's not even in Calamari. I have a feeling it's going to taste even better. Uh, oh. Whichever <laughs> way helps. Sorry. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. Look at this guy. This is the new appetizer. What is it called again? Um, spinach and ricotta ravioli. I love your pronunciation. It's that nice Texan. Whatever. Wow. <laughs> so, it looks 
amazing. It just looks kind of a small portion, I must say. But it looks really good, and the smell that's just emanating from there is amazing. And uh, here is our appetizer for food. As you can see, it looks pretty good. The only difference is, is that a little bit of a small portion. But since we have two... <laughs> Thank you for proving my point. <laughs> but since we have two dishes, it should be able to feed all of us here. Because don't forget, we're still eating our entrees, so... Oh yeah, including desserts, and it's because we have the dining plan. So tell me what it tastes like. When you're done, no, I'm just kidding. Mercy She's cutting so, so hard. What is that? So just eat it. it. She doesn't even know what she will do. No. <laughs> Was it hot? Mm -hmm. Well, the cheese is very strong. It's like pasta bound. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> so, is it okay? Okay, so I just took a bite of this food and it wasn't even hot, first of all. And um, did you like the bacon, Kevin? Because that's what the season is. I didn't eat the bacon. It's Canadian bacon. It's Canadian. Um, I taste it and um, I'm not sure what my. I know it also, also kind of depends on taste, but it was actually not. The that sauce bad. is really good. The, one the sauce kind of, like when you first put it in your mouth, the sauce kind of. Gives you that not sour taste, but something that you really can taste. It. It's like a very good amount of cheese that's inside the, this pasta, and I thought it was pretty good for an appetizer. Wow, this camera catches like way better than that Sony. Did. I love that it's so calm, quiet. Service is excellent. The food is excellent. I love it. We ordered around 12:22. And uh, it is now 12.53. But with the appetizers that came in, we were still well satisfied while waiting for our main entrees to arrive. Basically, yes, this is a really calm place to eat if you're looking for a bit of peace and quiet from the large crowds inside the park of Epcot. And it's just really breathtaking to see. They're very, Disney was very well detailed with this restaurant, trying to make you feel like you're in water. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. oh, wow, it looks great. Thank you. A nice pasta and lobster dish. And as I ordered bacon on the side, it's exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to remove this bacon just because I don't like bacon very much. I'm going to try this and see if it's too much cheese or not. My sister is also trying to see if this restaurant has to offer. I believe it looks amazing. And then my mother is trying. Hey, mom, what are you trying? Um, shrimp. Skewer shrimp. Is it an appetizer or entree? It's entree. It's extra to the plate. How does it taste? With the bacon. This is not chicken. I said, how does it taste with the bacon? It's lobster. I know, I said, how does it taste with the bacon? Kevin, it is super yummy. Thank you. Wow, guys, that was a great meal. I'm really stuffed, but I'm going in to stew desserts and see how well I survive and see if it's good food or not. Now, let's see what they have to offer. Now, I don't think they changed anything. Warm vanilla custard filled strudel angel food cake. I feel like that's been there already. No, it was <gasps> turtle cheesecake. What is that actual turtle? No, the style. Oh, good. Now the one I'm really into, I find one of the best types of chocolate cake in restaurants would be the Chocolate Wave, which is also $9.50. So far by one of the best uh, chocolate cakes I've had in Disney World for a restaurant, for a restaurant. One of the best. Kevin, you want the Chocolate Wave? Yes, please. Can I have one Chocolate Wave? Actually, can I grab that on the right? That's yes. Hold on, right? Yeah. Okay. What a nice fellow. Why can't you be more like him, Sydney? <laughs> Here's my sister's plate. Buddy, what was yours again? It was a warm vanilla strudel. Alright, guys, I'm gonna try this wave cake. I mean, chocolate wave, sorry. It had ice cream on top. I believe it was strawberry. It's a small portion, but it smells really good. Kevin, Papa said that should have been like, who treats it like a joke? Do you? I'm gonna try this and see how well it tastes, if it still tastes good. Sounds good? It's really good, it just melts in your mouth. 
wow it's really good once again one of my favorite types of chocolate cake in disney world that you can get at a table service restaurant really good if you come by coral reef i highly suggest <laughs> that you get the chocolate wave because it's really a great dessert it's, to have. Without the it's really good